In a departure from the norm, the Ministry of Defence has embarked on an aggressive tree planting initiative aimed at boosting the country's forest cover from the current 7% to 15% by 2022. Defence CS Rachelle Omamo termed the Environmental Soldier Program as one that reflects the often ignored connection between climate change and security. We were beginning to see that there were conflicts over scarce water resources, for our forests were depleting, and people were being displaced every time there was a drought, every time there were floods. And it was clear to us that something was changing fundamentally in our weather systems and that we needed to see this as a fundamental threat to national security. She cited many wars and armed conflicts that were sparked owing to competition for fast diminishing natural resources, a fact that informs the KDF's aims for a sustainable environmental plan. We have adopted five forests. The nearest one is just here in Gong Forest and another one next to it in Kibuku Forest. And we intend to use this as pilots to gain the best practices on how to conserve our forests and to do so in conjunction with our communities and to ensure that the trees that we plant survive and help us deal with our forest cover deficit. With the KDF standing out as one of the biggest energy consumers in the country, the minister further revealed the KDF's commitment to adopt more environmentally friendly programs such as the use of renewable energy. And the KDF field kitchen runs on very, very little diesel, you know, like almost a quarter of a bottle of diesel. And the stove that we invented burns that diesel completely, but produces a very strong flame that enables cooking to take place without our soldiers using wood fuel. Now this has been very, very useful to us, especially in our operational areas, so that we don't have to compete with communities for, for, for firewood and so on. And in that way, we are reducing our carbon military footprint. We are also establishing recycling, energy recycling plants in our installations. Uh, we are also uh, using uh, biogas, solar energy, wind energy to, to, to provide uh, alternative sources of energy for the defense forces. The move by KDF was lauded by environmentalists with ambassadors of foreign nations terming Kenya's military's attitude towards environmental conservation as a first in the history of military operations. Victor Mackinac, Channel 1.